Sunset or four campaign. Today, Padamala Hospital is a thousand four hundred and fifty bed facility with sophisticated precision equipment, state of the art facilities, speciality and super speciality services, along with highly experienced and dedicated staff making it a world class medical establishment. The Fatimullah group of institutions provide an ideal and conducive ground for grooming young students into medical, paramedical and nursing graduates who learn the nuances of medicine. The training here goes beyond Fathamulla Medical College, College of Allah. The Fathamulla Charitable Institution. Our chief guest today is Dr. A. V. S. Ramesh Chandra, IFS, Additional Secretary, Minister of External Affairs, Government of India. Guests inside the convention center are requested not to move out of the auditorium as it may disturb the solemn procession. The Father Muller Charitable Institution's graduation 2024 procession will be led by the institution flag bearers. Representing Father Muller Charitable Institution is Dr. Meena Gaya. Professor and Head, Department of Microbiology, Father Medical College. Students' lab bearers are the presidents of their respective student council. Mr. Princeton De Silva, representing College of Allied Health Sciences. Mr. Rin Swaghi Raji, representing College of Physiotherapy. And Ms. Janisha Kalin Gunjalvis, representing Father Muller Medical College. The procession is led by the Bank of the Father Muller College of Nursing, with Mr. Vijay Kumar Bhavadira as the Prime Minister. And Mr. Mr. Liya Raju, Raju as the band leader. Ladies and gentlemen, we are here to finally arrive at the process of graduate and degree Next, the College of Nursing Band enters the auditorium.
gentlemen we, we now have a symbolic welcome in the traditional indian custom the purna kumbha swagata and the aarti performed by students from college of gujarat Ladies and gentlemen, let us now invoke the blessings of the Lord Almighty. As we begin this auspicious event, may I invite the students of the Father Muller College of Physiotherapy to lead us in prayer. Please remain standing for the invocation.
you, dear students. I request you all to kindly be seated. I now request Reverend Father Ajit B. Menezes, convener of the graduation committee, Dr. Anthony Sylvan de Souza, Dean, Father Mulla Medical College, Dr. Hilda de Souza, Principal, Father Mulla College of Allied Health Sciences, Professor Cherishma de Silva, Principal, Father Mulla College of Physiotherapy, to escort our dignitaries onto the dais. We have in our midst Most Reverend Dr. Peter Paul Seldana, Bishop of Mangalore Diocese and President of Father Mulla Charitable Institutions. We are honored to have Dr. A.V.S. Ramesh Chandra, IFS Additional Secretary, Minister of External Affairs, Government of India, New Delhi, as our chief guest. We are privileged to have Dr. Shubhash Giri, Director, Lady Harding Medical College and Associated Hospitals, New Delhi, as our guest of honor. We have Reverend Father Aloysius Richard Aloysius Coelho, Director, Father Mulla Charitable Institutions, Reverend Father Sylvester Vincent Lobo, Administrator, Father Mulla Hospital, Tumbe. We also have in our midst Reverend Father George Jeevan Sikwera, Administrator, Father Mulla Medical College and Hospital, and Reverend Father Nelson Deeraj Pass, Assistant Administrator, Father Mulla Medical College Hospital. Also, we are graced by Dr. Venkatesh BM, Vice Dean, Father Mulla Medical College, and Dr. Uday Kumar, Medical Superintendent, Father Mulla Medical College Hospital. We welcome you all. I request our beloved director, Reverend Father Richard Aloysius Coelho, to welcome the gathering and introduce today's chief guest and guest of honor. Distinguished guests, esteemed members of the governing board, faculty, parents, guardians, and precious graduates, print and electronic media friends, and invitees. As we gather here today, enveloped in the warmth of this esteemed institution, I am reminded of a profound truth encapsulated in the words of Helen Keller, happiness is not attained through self-gratification but through fidelity to a worthy purpose. These words echo the essence of our journey at the Father Mullah Charitable Institutions where for the past 144 years our purpose has been to heal, comfort, and spread joy. Our legacy is not merely measured in years, but in the countless lives touched, the hope restored, and the joy nurtured within these walls. From the humble beginnings of St. Joseph Leprosy Hospital to the global recognition of our holistic healing practices, we have remained steadfast in our commitment to serve with compassion and excellence. In the tapestry of our institution, each thread represents a story of dedication, resilience, and unwavering faith. From our pioneering efforts in nursing education to the integration of homeopathy and allopathy, we have embraced innovation while staying true to our founding principles. Today, as we stand at the threshold of another chapter of our journey, let us not forget the shoulders upon which we stand, the tireless efforts of every doctor, the tender care of every nurse, and the aspirations of every student who has walked these halls. We have proudly held the torch of excellence in nursing education since the establishment of our school in the year 1959 and subsequent college in the year 1987. Our distinguished alumni have dispersed across the globe 
now serving as principals in numerous nursing colleges, both locally and beyond our district's border. Homeopathy, born out of Reverend Father Augustus Muller's profound love for humanity, has not only left an indelible mark on our local community, but also healthcare, boasting over 1,250 beds and holding the esteemed status of the most sought after tertiary and quaternary healthcare center. Our commitment to providing the most comprehensive, affordable, technologically advanced and immaculate care has endeared us to the hearts of the underserved in our region, evident in a staggering average of 2,000 OPD footfalls and an impressive 85% bed occupancy rate. The Father Mullah Medical College Hospital stands as a testament not only to the tireless efforts of our management, but also to the dedication of every doctor, the needs of every patient, and the nurturing care of every nurse. To you, dear graduates, departing from your alma mater, remember the rarity of our institution's journey from a postgraduate MD college to later evolving into an undergraduate MBBS college. That this transformation serves as the cornerstone of our academic success, a legacy we proudly carry forward as we complete 25 years of MBBS program in our medical college. I am reminded of the words of St. Mother Teresa and Dr. A.P.J. Abdul Kalam, whose visits affirmed what we already knew, that this institution is a beacon of hope and healing a sanctuary for the afflicted and a testament to the poor, to the power of compassion. As we extend hearty welcome to our esteemed guests, I am filled with gratitude for their presence amidst us. Be it Father Mullah Medical College and its offshoot, the Father Mullah College of Allied Health Sciences and Father Mullah College of Physiotherapy, the cogitation of every neat aspirant and their guardian is that of quality education, disciplined care, and overall holistic growth of individuals. With this, I would like to proceed to the welcoming of our dignitaries. With love and honor, I extend a genial welcome to our Bishop, Bishop of Mangalore and President of Adamulla Charitable Institutions, Most Reverend Dr. Peter Paul Saldana, who has honored us with his esteemed presence. In spite of his administrative and pastoral work, he keeps time for our institutional activities and events. Dear Bishop, we continue to look forward to your leadership, guidance, blessings, and with much delight and appreciation, I welcome you to this graduation ceremony. Administrator of the Medical College will honor our Bishop with a bouquet. It is my privilege to introduce our Honorable Chief Guest, a very prominent personality, Dr. A.V.S. Ramesh Chandra, IFS. Dr. Ramesh Chandra is an officer of the Indian Foreign Service, IFS, 1989 batch, and is currently serving as Additional Secretary, Ministry of External Affairs, Government of India. He has served in various capacities and occupied many important positions in the government of India over past 31 years, most recently having been OSD and acting president of South Asian University in New Delhi. Prior to this, his assignments are as below. High Commissioner of India to Uganda and Rwanda and Ambassador to Burundi. Ambassador of India to Romania, Moldova, and Albania. Senior diplomat in embassies in Turkey, Russia, Pakistan, and Afghanistan. 
India's delegate at the permanent mission of the United Nations in New York, Deputy Director General of the Indian Council of World Affairs, has been on deputations to the Department of Peacekeeping Operations in the United Nations Secretariat in New York, to the Indian Ministry of Defense, and the list goes on and on. He has done his master's degree in veterinary science, majoring in dairy technology from Andhra Pradesh Agricultural University, Hyderabad. Gold medalist throughout the seven years of college studies. <laughs> Dr. Ramesh Chandra actively participated in various international seminars and received accolades for his outstanding contributions. He is also known for his devotion to Bhagawan Sri Satya Sai, having received the prestigious Bhagawan Sri Satya Sai gold medal for his exemplary academic performance in the year 1988. <laughs> With his better half, Mrs. Katyayini Chandra, they are blessed with two daughters, a beautiful family indeed. Dean of the Father Mullah Medical College will honor our esteemed chief guest with a bouquet, with a big round of applause. A <laughs> guest of honor, Dr. Subhash Giri, who is currently the director Lady Harding Medical College and Associated Hospitals, New Delhi, from January 2023 onwards. Holds an MBBS degree from the Postgraduate Institute of Medical Sciences, Rotak, where he excelled academically and later completed his MD in General Medicine. He further, his further qualification with DNB in General Medicine and pursued additional certifications, including an MBA in healthcare management, demonstrating his commitment to academic and professional excellence. With over 27 years of experience in internal medicine, Dr. Giri has served as a teaching faculty member, researcher, and administrator. His expertise lies in internal and emergency medicine, as well as preventive cardiology. Notably, he has supervised numerous postgraduate students, conducted examinations, and contributed significantly to medical literature through research papers, numbering over 100 and books chapters. Dr. Giri's leadership extends beyond academia as he has been ac actively involved in administrative roles, including selection committees, and hospital management. Under his stewardship, Lady Harding Medical College has seen infrastructural enhancements and patient-friendly initiatives reflecting his dedication to healthcare excellence. His interpersonal skills, international exposure, and commitment to growth and well-being make him a valuable honorary to our event. Please join me in extending a warm welcome to Dr. Subhash Giri. <laughs> Principal of Padamulla College of Physiotherapy will honor our guest of honor with a bouquet. Here also I recognize the presence of Mr. Rajkumar Jain, from New Delhi. It's my honor to render a hearty welcome to you, sir, and I request you, sir, to kindly come forward to the days and to receive our honor. I request for the Jeevan to offer a bouquet of flowers to our guest. Thank you, sir. members of governing board, the pillars of our institutions, and the dedicated faculty who shape the minds of tomorrow express my deepest appreciation for your unwavering support and guidance. 
I acknowledge the presence of the management committee members, members of the Fadamullah Centenary Charitable Society, my collaborators, administrators, and assistant administrators, dean, principals, religious sisters, advisory committee members, to the accompanying government officials, faculty of all our colleges, all civil and administrative and security personnel who have helped and been with us at every need, print and electronic media for your unwavering support to the graduates for being Un for your unwavering support and to the graduates for being our ambassadors and apple of the eye of today. And to you, dear parents and guardians, entrusted with the care and upbringing of your graduates, I extend my heartiest gratitude for your faith in our institutions and your valuable, invaluable role in shaping the future generations. And to you, dear graduates, poised, with the brink, poised on the brink of a new beginning, remember that you are not only the ambassadors of this institution, but the torch bearers of hope and healing in a world that yearns for compassion and kindness. I quote from the Bible, Philippians chapter 4, verse 6 and 7. Do not be anxious about anything, but in every situation, by prayer and petition, with thanksgiving, present your requests to God, and the peace of God, which transcends all understanding, will guard your hearts and your minds in Christ Jesus. As we embark on this journey together, let us be guided by the light of our shared purpose to heal, to comfort, and to spread joy. Once again, a hearty welcome to all of you and have a very pleasant evening. Thank you and may God bless us all. Thank you, Father. I now request Reverend Father Ajit B. Menezes, convener of graduation ceremony, to present a brief annual report of Father Mula Medical College, College of Allied Health Sciences, and College of Physiotherapy. Good evening to you all. I am happy to present before you the annual report of Padamulla Medical College, Padamulla College of Physiotherapy, Padamulla College of Allied Health Sciences, units of Padamulla Charitable Institutions. Padamulla Medical College began with the postgraduate program in 1990 and the MBBS program in 1999. This year, we are celebrating 25 years of the commencement of MBBS course. The college has over 1,148 students studying in MBBS, MDMS, and super specialty courses. College of Allied Health Sciences was established on 1st June 2020 under the newly named Father Muller College of Allied Health Sciences with a total 11 UG courses and four PG courses having an intake of more than 300 every year. The College of Physiotherapy was established in the year 1994, but it was functioning under the patronage of Padamula Medical College. On 27 September 2023, it was declared as an independent college named as Padamula College of Physiotherapy. At present, we have 60 UG and 20 PG intake every year. Padamula Medical College attained more than 85% results for MBPS all phases, PG degree about 97% and MCH urology 100% result. Dr. Errol Alicia Montero has received gold medal for securing highest marks in ophthalmology subject during the third year MBBS university examination held in 2022. Seven MBBS students have secured 16 ranks in the university examination conducted by Rajiv Gandhi University of Health Science, Bangalore. Many of our postgraduate students have secured ranks at Rajiv Gandhi PG Medical Examination. Dr. Sanjana Joy, Astrid James, Maria Sushmita L, and Anush Serao have secured first, fifth, sixth, and ninth rank respectively for MD Pathology. 
Dr. Sharon Joseph has secured second rank in MD Microbiology, and Dr. Vujwal Suvarna, seventh rank in MS Orthopedics. Dr. Vaishali has secured fifth rank in MD Psychiatry. Dr. Suvida Kamath, fifth rank in MD Dermatology. Dr. Venisha Fernandez, ninth rank, and Malati but tenth rank in MD Radio Diagnosis. In the super specialty exam, Dr. Nipun Bansal has secured first rank in MCH urology exam with a gold medal from Rajiv Gandhi University. Highlights from the results of Padamula College of Physiotherapy are as follows. Ms. Vidisha Pai B and Shet Elkura Gauri Prabhakar secured sixth and tenth rank respectively in the MPT Cardiovascular Pulmonary Sciences exams. Eight of our BPT students have secured ranks in the Rajiv Gandhi University examination. We have 90% results in the UG courses and 95% result in PG courses from the Father Muller College of Allied Health Sciences. Our MH and MSc students have secured 12 ranks in the university exams. Ms. Priya Kumari has received two gold medals for securing highest marks in the BSc HS exams. Our students have secured 11 ranks in BSc MIT, MLT, ATOT, and RTT exams. The following new appointments were made in our institutions. Dr. Venkatesh B.M., Professor of General Medicine, is appointed as Vice Dean of Father Muller Medical College from 16th February 2024. Dr. Ramesh Bhatt, Professor of Dermatology, completed his term as a Vice Dean of Father Muller Medical College and is appointed as head of Father Muller Research Center on 16th February 2024. Professor Charisma De Silva, Professor of Physiotherapy, is appointed as principal Father Muller College of Physiotherapy on 27th September 2023. The highlights and the facts which speak about continuous progress of our institution in terms of recognitions are NMC granted increase of intake in the Department of General Medicine from 11 to 15, General Surgery from 8 to 12, and Radio Diagnosis from 5 to 8 seats starting from the year 2023. Rajiv Gandhi University has granted approval to start MD Emergency Medicine, MD Respiratory Medicine, DM Medical Oncology, MCH Plastic and Reconstructive Surgery, MCH in Surgical Gastroenterology, and MCH Surgical Oncology. Department of Dermatology, Venerology, and Leprosy partnered with Brajivalia University, Indonesia. Department of Dermatology received the Best Dermatology Department Award by Indian Association of Dermatologists for the year 2023. <laughs> Father Muller Medical College, an adverse drug reaction monitoring center under PVPI, has received Certificate of Appreciation from Ministry of Health and Family Welfare Government of India in recognition of its appreciable contribution. We are ranked ninth in the country in pharmacovigilance. A big round of applause to the department. A glimpse of some important events conducted at our institution is as follows. Graduation day ceremony of Father Muller Medical College was held on 30th March 2023. Dr. M. K. Ramesh, Honorable Vice Chancellor of Rajiv Gandhi University of Health Science, Bengaluru, was the chief guest. Datuk Dr. Henrik Kore, Chief Operating Officer, Sabai Healthcare, Malaysia, was the guest of honor. Muller Medi Expo was organized on the occasion of Medical College MBBS course Silver Jubilee. The inauguration of the Silver Jubilee year of MBBS course and the course inauguration of MBBS PG and Allied Health Science courses for the year. 23-24 was held on 16th October 2023. A marathon with a the theme, Kudla Runs for Known Drugs, were os or was organized in association with St. Joseph Engineering College, Wamanjuru, and Lourdes Central School, Bijay, on 3rd December 2023. During the Republic Day celebration, a faculty honored for their exemplary performance based on annual performance appraisal system. World Cancer Day, Muller Cancer Y program was organized by the departments of medical, surgical, and radiation oncology by conducting voluntary blood donation and hair donation camp 
On that day, we also honored and felicitated organ and body donors, family members. Blessing of foundation stone of Father Muller Medical College, Silver Jubilee Academic Block, and Father Muller PG Hostel and Apartments was held on 1st November 2023. Beside these programs, every year we celebrate Freshers Day, Interbatch Cultural Program, Sports Day, Student Council Ceremony across the institutions. We also observe Yoga Day, Anti-Drug Day, Anti-Ragging Day, Doctor's Day, Ethnic Day, Swachh Bharat Day, Down Syndrome Day. We also organize CMEs, workshop, recruitment training programs, pre-conferences for the academic growth of our students. The faculty of our institutions are very energetic and we are more than happy to support them and encourage them. Some of the important faculty achievements are as follows. Dr. Ramesh but Professor of Dermatology was felicitated with the Professor Kandari Foundation Award, the highest award of IADVL for Lifetime Achievement Award during the Dermacon 2024 National Conference IADVL. I'm indeed very proud to say that he is the first elected Indian International Director in the history of ILDS. Dr. Archana Bhatt appointed as the Editor-in-Chief and Dr. Manjunath J appointed as the Assistant Edi Editor of Rajiv Gandhi University Health and Journal of Allied Health Sciences. We have many faculty who are awarded winners. Dr. Shiva Shankar Iyer, Dr. Bina Antony have been awarded the Pfizer Best Researcher. Dr. Aruna Yadiel received the Dr. Sunanda Yad R. Kulakarni Annual Eminent Medical Literature Award for her book in Kannada. Dr. Jyoti Jairam has received Community Dermatology Award for her project on cashew nut dermatitis. Dr. Raghavendra B.S. was awarded Most Dynamic Healthcare Leader Award. Dr. Rochelle Montero is awarded the Dermalink 2023 Research Grant Award for her community-based research project. Dr. B.M. Jishan Hamid, Professor of Urology, appointed as the Chairman of the Youth Section of the SAR countries. Dr. Kishan Shetty, nominated as the President of Indian Society of Anesthesiology, Mangalore branch in March 2023. Dr. Nanda Kishore B, elected President, Mangalore Urology Forum for the year 24-25. Professor Cherishma Disil was awarded Distinguished Service Award in recognition of the meritorious and outstanding work done to promote the physiotherapy profession. Dr. Ms. Garima Gupta and Ms. Aishwarya Ghatti have successfully obtained a copyright for their educational masterpiece, Early Movements, Early Recovery, Handouts for Patients and Caregivers. Dear faculty, you have spread the fragments of Father Mula charitable institutions throughout the world by getting involved in so many activities, naturally, Awards and recognitions have come in search of you. We are proud about you and happy to acknowledge your, your contribution beyond the portals of this institution. Congratulations to all the faculty members. Our dynamic faculty are not only dedicated teachers, but also are enthusiastic learners too. The proof of this being additional qualification obtained by them. Some of them are as follows. Dr. Hilda Fernandez, Principal of Father Muller College of Allied Health Sciences, completed postgraduate diploma in counseling with Best Outgoing Student Award. Dr. J. Stefani Lilia has completed postdoctor fellowship training in dermatopathology. Dr. Reshma Jikini, Dr. Archana Bhatt, Dr. Shiva Shankar Eyar, Dr. Shailaja, Dr. Savita Lasrado, and Dr. Archana Bhatt. These faculty have completed the NMC advanced course in medical education from the Nodal Center. Dr. Anston Vernon Brax has awarded the degree of Masters in Clinical Radiology. Dr. Veena J. Pinto, Spurti A. Pai, Shruti A. Pai, Dr. Pratima Prabhu, Dr. Roshel Montero, Jostal Pinto, Maitri Diaz, Arun Kumar, Muruga, and Punithye, Ms. Jewel Teresa Jomi, Malar Mati and Diksha Ekanan, the above faculty members of ours have completed various additional courses and certificate courses for their credit in their respective profession. Our faculty comprise of subject expert too who have made significant contribution 
in the field of expertise through textbook and chapters. Dr. Padma Jaudaya Kumar, professor in HOD of Pharmacology, has authored two textbooks, namely Pharmacology for Physiotherapy Students, 4th edition, and Pharmacology for Dental and Allied Health Sciences, 5th edition. Dr. Archana Bhatt, Associate Professor of Pathology, has authored a textbook titled Essential of Renal Pathology. Dr. Madhurima Enayak, Assistant Professor of Ophthalmology, has authored a textbook titled Clinical Manual of Ophthalmology. Dr. Nishant Baliga, Assistant Professor of Critical Care Medicine. Dr. Nagesh K.R., Professor of Forensic Department. Dr. Roshan Yam, Professor and Head of Medicine. And Dr. Jostal Pinto, Associate Professor of Cardiology, has co-authored chapters. Dr. Safan Ahmed and Vimla Kulaso, Faculty of Neurology, co-authored an original article describing India's first case series on unique autoimmune neurological diseases. Our faculty members have many publications in various peer-reviewed journals of national and international repute. Dear faculty members, your thirst for knowledge and your efforts to share your knowledge and wisdom is commendable. As we acknowledge the services rendered by our faculty members, we place on record their extra efforts to make this place a better place for living. The exemplary work of our faculty has received awards and recognitions. Doctors, Maitri Diaz, Chrisel Saldana, Archanambat, Bina Anthony, Elroy Saldana, Shripati Kamath, Harish Gowda have presented papers, posters in various conferences and have won prizes. Congratulations, dear doctors. <laughs> doctors, Hilda Fernandez, Maitri Diaz, Prashant Vayam, Shivashankar Ayar, Venkatesh Biyam, Oliver Disoza, Nishant Krishna, and Ms. Shaina Pinto are members of the Board of Studies and examiners for various other institutions. Many of our students have presented scientific papers at various conferences, participated in quiz competitions, and have been rewarded. Doctors Franan de Souza, Jeevan Kumar B, Prina Clarissa Krasta, Vinita P. De Souza, Vaishnavi Ballal, Doctors Vajid Yam, Sayyad Likwat Ali, Gayatri Santosh, Mrunalini Rai, Swati, Dr. Pooja, Dr. Lakshmi, Dr. Melissa Grace. These are our postgraduate residents from various departments who have won prizes for their presentation and bagged prizes in quiz competitions. Dr. Swati, GBB Beni, Divya De Souza, and Sneha, PG residents of dermatology, were awarded dissertation grants. Our MBBS students, Ms. Sandria and De Souza, Saravu Teresa Abraham, Anujit, Aditya Shelley, Jessica Chris, Shreya Satish, Pratiksha, Joseph Paul Arnold have won prizes for their presentations. Anushil Thomas Reji, Glenn Merrill Stephen Rego, Shashank Sheri, Aditya Shelley, Prem Rohan De Souza, Neha Nagaraj Kale, Manish S.S.S.V., Princita Korea, and Joseph Paul Arnold have won prizes in quiz competition. Ms. Resa Thomas and Washi Hiram, Dr. Mr. Deepesh Chaudhary, Ayush Amresh, Lavanya Gupta, and Kavadi Gagan, Re research proposals were selected for ICMR and Rajiv Gandhi University student grants. Four BSc MLT second year students and VPT students, Mikdath, Gwen, and Siona research projects are selected for Rajiv Gandhi University research grants. Neha Daniel, Abel Jacob, and Kiara secured prizes at PhysioCon for their presentation. At FMCI, we not only focus on academics, but we focus on all round development of our students. The report of sports and games speaks volumes about this. We are the regional winners for table tennis men and women, Mysore zone chess team men and women, badminton team men and women, basketball team men, kabaddi men, throwball women. We are winners in badminton men, basketball men and women in Rajiv Gandhi University Interzone Intercollegiate. Mr. R. Vaibhav has won four gold medals, two silver and one bronze medal in aquatics. Rebin Reggie Thomas, batch 2020, became a youngest referee officiate All India Inter-University Volleyball Championship. 
Mr. Alan Volivoda and Ashish Yachan secured runner-up in Mysore Zonal Intercollegiate Kabaddi Tournament. Dear students, you not only excel in academics, your performances and participation in the extracurricular activities make us proud indeed. We are greatly honored to announce the laurels you bring to our institutions with joy and happiness. May God bless you all. From Father Muller Medical College a total about 20 CME and conferences of state and national level, guest lectures and workshop with hands-on experience, more than 10 outreach activities like awareness program camps were conducted, 8 competitions like quiz, poster and debate were conducted. We encourage and motivate our teachers in upgrading their teaching skills through our active medical education unit which has conducted several training programs for, our, for the faculty of medical college, including the NMC mandated basic course in medical education. Our MEU consists of well-trained faculty with ACMI, ME, and FAI, MER degrees. Our alumni association is another bunch of very active members and conducted alumni talks and seminars. The Kerala sub-chapter was inaugurated at Iduki this year. Father Mulla Charitable Institution is well equipped with state of the art simulation and skill center. Father Mulla Simulations and Skill Center is regularly conducting skill sessions for our medical, nursing, and allied students and faculty. It is the first and only center in the country to receive international accreditation. We take immense pride in the global recognition received for our patient safety programs, Code Blue Simulation Drills. Raju Gandhi University, Jeevaraksha, ACLS, ENLS, and many more courses are conducted. Many of our faculty have completed the courses and are certified trainers. Dr. Lulu was appointed as the technical advisory member for establishment of nodal simulation center under Raju Gandhi University of Health Sciences. She was also appointed as the chairperson of the curriculum committee for the simulation technician program by Raju Gandhi University. Father Mulla Research Center is actively engaged in numerous research projects funded by both internal and external grants, totaling to about rupees five crores. Collaboration have been established with prestigious institution and industry partners, including the Indian Institute of Sciences, ICMR, VGST, DST, DBT, and several pharmaceutical companies. Currently, there are 130 ongoing research projects including 38 institutional grants, 37 external grants, 14 clinical trials, and grants for undergraduate and postgraduate students. The Central Library Committee celebrated the National Library Day on 19th August, 2023. Health Science Books, Exhibition, and Awareness Programs on BMJ, JGate, Turnitin Plagiarism Software, E-Content Development, Author Workshop on BMJ Case Reports, Telenet were conducted. Dear dignitaries on the days, faculty, staff, parents, graduates, ladies and gentlemen, the progress of the units of Father Mullah institutions are purely a sign of teamwork, and this team is headed by our bishop and president of charitable institution, Most Reverend Dr. Peter Paul Saldana. We acknowledge his guidance and support to our director, administrators, and all the management committee members. Thank you, Bishop. I also acknowledge the guidance given by the governing board and centenary charitable society members for the growth of this mighty institution. Paying our tribute and salutation to our founder, Reverend Father Augustine Muller, praising and trusting in the name of Almighty Jesus Christ, here I am concluding my annual report. Thank you for your patient listening. Thank you, Father. I now invite our distinguished chief guest, Dr. A.V.S. Ramesh Chandra, IFS, Additional Secretary, Ministry of External Affairs, Government of India, New Delhi, to deliver the graduation address. Thank you. A very good afternoon uh, to all of you all. Um, um, your Lordship, uh, Peter Paul Saldana, uh, 
the uh, Reverend Bishop of uh, Mangalore. It's such an honor to be in your presence, Your Lordship. Um, um, Father Richard Kolo, the director of the uh, FMCI, uh, the mover and the shaker of this institution without whose guidance and direction and support, I suppose the institution wouldn't have reached to the heights that it has today reached. Um, Father Ajit uh, Manasses, uh, who has been troubled immensely by me over the past one week, uh, to know what my uh, job will be here as the uh, chief guest. Um, faculty members, uh, especially members of the governing board of the uh, FMCI, uh, students, uh, graduates, uh, graduates uh, parents, and uh, uh, those who have come to see uh, their wards pick up uh, the uh, result of years of hard work, discipline, and conduct in this uh, wonderful institution. Um, I um, had uh, a chance, Your Lordship, to visit uh, the simulation center uh, briefly, uh, uh, very ably headed by Dr. Lulu, uh, presently the head of division there. I was really impressed looking at uh, the simulation center and the kind of advances, the kind of uh, uh, utility that is being served by the simulation center for students um, to understand uh, the importance of the radial vessel to be able to get your pulse. I was really impressed by uh, uh, the various classrooms. I had a chance to uh, barge into a classroom while the class was still in session to see the young, uh, energetic faces there. Um, I, I wish to also congratulate um, the uh, Dean of the Allied Health Sciences. Um, Father Ajit uh, uh, and I were traveling uh, to the hotel from the airport, at which point in time, he made it a point to say, sir, uh, uh, doctors are there, MBBS, FRCS, and so on and so forth, but without the participation of, say, an anesthesia technologist or someone who's a technologist from the operation theater or, for that matter, from the diagnostic side, the doctor himself is probably helpless um, uh, and in great measure not as successful as he would have been uh, with a better supportive uh, uh, team from the allied uh, areas, which uh, sometimes uh, uh, have a larger than life importance uh, of their own. So uh, congratulations to the dean and the entire team at the allied health sciences department, which was very correctly uh, set up, I think, four years ago, very timely uh, in my limited assessment. Um, I had a chance to speak to my family this morning. And uh, I requested for some inputs, any suggestions that uh, you know may be available to me from family. Um, I had only one bit of advice. Dad, when you took your bachelor's degree 37 years ago in 1987, what were you? What was on top of your mind? I said uh, to run, grab my degree, and throw my cap in the hair. So uh, please remember, there are 500 graduates who are wanting your dismissal from your microphone in three minutes' time. If you want to wish them, just wish them briefly and you know, dismiss yourself from the microphone. I will uh, dismiss myself. I, I shall uh, take the advice of my uh, family. But three very quick points. Um, in life, in a professional's life, irrespective of whether you're a proper surgeon or uh, a technologist uh, in a uh, supportive role uh, to the medical establishment, the institution is looking for growth. Uh, but then, in life, there are also two other terms of equal significance. The second is progress. And the third, the much uh, envied, success. What is the difference uh, 
between growth, progress, and success. Seemingly the same things. If there is growth, you know, you are a successful person. No. Growth is when you grow from, say, 10 lakhs to 15 lakhs of profit. Progress is when that profit is earned using ethical conduct and having morality in what you are uh, doing. And then there is success. As a professional, as a young professional, as a uh, uh, middle management grade professional, what kind of uh, um, value systems are you infusing or are introducing into the organization where you are working? If uh, greed looms large in a medical professional's life, it will be a sad day. Fortunately for us, it, is, it has not happened. In the country of 1.42 billion people, we, you still have doctors uh, uh, who uh, have uh, proven to be absolutely selfless when it came to impartation of medical care to the poor and needy. You don't have to go far. You just look at our experience with uh, COVID-19, uh, uh, which uh, struck uh, uh, the country um, I mean, uh, nothing could have been worse than the epidemic, uh, the scale and proportion uh, by which uh, um, uh, it could have really impacted India. Um, if it has not uh, been such a bad case, it's because of people like y'all who saved uh, uh, lives uh, uh, in the tens of thousands selfless service, no morning, no evening, no night, working through the day. Also, paramedical uh, staff, I mean, hats off to you all and, and to your very, very noble profession. I don't think there is any profession that is nobler than a medical profession. Next only to our teacher, we are all where we are standing because of our teachers. Um, a second point, I asked my friends who are spread all over the world now, many of them doctors, but also technologists, what would you want me to tell a bunch of medical professionals, all of 500 of them who are running away with their degrees today? And uh, I was very pleased when Reverend Father Coelho told me one of the postgraduate students uh, is actually uh, being inducted as a faculty member or uh, has already been inducted. Uh, I'm so happy. I mean, this is uh, precisely what uh, needs to happen. Giving back something to your alma mater, to your mother that has given you the skills to not just survive, but to spread the message of hope, of uh, uh, human dignity. When uh, the founding father of this very noble institution, Augustus uh, uh, Muller, uh, established this very historic uh, institution way back, in 1880, I was told, uh, something like 144 years ago. Uh, these are institutions, uh, uh, these are unfortunately days when institutions are being set up and within four years they're vanishing. Because of uh, actions that are narrow-minded, actions that are uh, full of greed and uh, um, empowerment of the self over empowerment of the society in which you are living and working. I'll not uh, dwell uh, more into this. I just thought th the need for devotion and dedication to your profession is, I think, most felt today in the medical uh, profession. I don't think any other profession uh, 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 has that kind of urgency uh, in which uh, uh, service to the poor, to the downtrodden, to those who are not as well equipped as some others in terms of uh, financial resources, in terms of capacities and capabilities. If you are able to help at least one family in a day, you must tell yourself, I can sleep very well because I've been able to help this poor family which would have been lost if the breadwinner of a family uh, is not in a position to attend to uh, his work, you can imagine the uh, situation of the, that entire family. And please do not uh, uh, focus unduly on cities. 
the, the time has come to branch out and any medical professional today telling me there is no money in the rural areas, sir, I, I'm very sorry. Uh, I do not entirely agree. There are so many schemes, so many uh, non-governmental organizations as, uh, as uh, eminent as the Father Muller Charitable Institution. There is no dearth of opportunity. You just have to look around, uh, target what you want, and then pursue that uh, dream and ambition in the service of uh, society. And remember that the founding father uh, dispensed homeopathic medicines sitting under a banyan tree. I was so impressed uh, uh, when uh, Reverend Father Coelho showed me the tree, the growth tree of uh, the Father Mulla charitable institutions. I, I hope uh, it will go from strength to strength. Uh, members of the media who are here should please turn your cameras and look at the size of the audience. I'm sure while you have about 40% uh, of the parents eagerly waiting to see their children uh, receive the awards, um, I'll just cover one point with your permission and then uh, take your leave. 35 years ago, when I joined the Indian Foreign Service, to the Western world, India appeared to be a country of snake charmers and half-naked uh, saints or sadhus. Today, India, with its 1.42 billion people, uh, is very proud of the fact that we have a demographic dividend when it comes to youngsters like you, who comprise almost one-third, slightly more than one-third of the country's population. And what kind of one-third? This is a young India going abroad, proving itself as a nationality, A, reliable, B, hardworking, C, trustworthy, D, adaptive to the place of uh, their uh, stay. At least do two years of service in this country, if possible in Mangaluru city, if possible within the institution. I'm not saying please do not go to greener pastures. Please do go ahead and learn newer skills without upgrading your skills. This is, uh, uh, these are the times of generative artificial intelligence, for God's sake. If you are not able to cope, if, uh, if you are not able to measure up, even in the area of upgradation of skills, I don't think uh, we'll be uh, looking at a leadership position of the kind that you all are looking to uh, sort of achieve. I think I've uh, uh, crossed my promised limit of five minutes uh, by a couple of minutes. I shall uh, hang my uh, uh, case here. I shall rest my case here. All I wish to uh, uh, say is have a great, fantastic career. Sky is the limit. You have all the energy, all the enthusiasm. At the age of 60, please do not uh, expect that your, the levels of your energy will remain the same. As uh, someone who is approaching 60, I can tell you, the amount of energy and enthusiasm you have in your early 20s is something that you will never have even 15 years from now. So this is the time when the iron has to be hit, it has to be hit and the iron has to be red. I think this is the time for you all to aim for the moon and probably go beyond that. God bless. Thank you very much for your patience here. Thank you, sir, for your precious inputs to our dear students. Your presence here is an inspiration to all of us. Actions speak louder than words. Our guest of honor, Dr. Shubhash Giri, Director, Lady Harding Medical College and Associated Hospitals, New Delhi, is a prime example of this. We are privileged to have you in our midst, sir. I request you to address the gathering. Good evening to all and all uh, guests, all my dear friends, all students, teachers, principals, administrators, and the most respected dignitaries on the dais. Aap sabhi ka abhinandan. Respected sir, or most revered Dr. Peter Paul Saldana, Bicep of Mangalore Diversity, I'm really thankful and feel blessed to be on the dais. I had been 
here in Mangalore second time, this time. Earlier also I had been here in your institute. I have been once, but I was just a guest over here. Sir, I had seen a dramatic change in your institute in last 10 years and heard a lot about it. The institute started with the treatment of the leprosy with such a legendary and visionary Dr. Father Muller. He has a vision which has made this institute to this extent. Really the history is so worth and so remembering and he will always be remembered in the history of this, this college and the country. Thank you very much to all of you to be the part of this institute. I am really thankful to our revered father Richard Swellio, director of the institute. Sir, you had given me a chance to be here. Thank you very much. I met Dr. A.V.S. Ramesh Chandra first time, a very senior IFS officer, presently as additional secretary with the Ministry of External Affairs. Government of India and really worth eye-opening remarks which is made on the dais. Thank you very much, sir. Thanks to all other dignitaries, you people are really learned and making the society to be more knowledgeable, skillful and making your graduates and the post-graduates to a level that they can really serve the society in a better way. Dear student, on this graduate ceremony, I congratulate all of you and let's clap for each other. This is the celebrations for all of you. <laughs> Dear students and doctors, the students will be allied health sciences the students of the College of Physiotherapy. You all people have done a lot of hard work. When you enter into your stream, the day you decide about your vision that you need to be a physiotherapist, a doctor, a nurse, or paramedic. So that day make you the person that you are getting devoted to a society. You have acquired your knowledge. You have acquired skills. You have acquired competency-based skills, attitude, and behavior. The real mentors are your teachers who are making your path as clear as it should be. Now, the two points which I want to highlight among all of our young graduates who will be doctors for tomorrow and who will be the future of the country. As you know, our country is of the young people and you are the people in last 20 years. You have seen the changes in the technology. You have seen the changes in the man's behavior also. I'll request all of you that growing developing, acquiring education and going ahead in all the aspects, whether it be the medical science, whether it be the defense or whether it be the astronomy. We have gone to the moon, we, have go we are planning to go further. Our missions have gone to the the further will be will be going into the exploring the sun also so we are growing day by day but one thing which always causes one deep hole in my heart is that we are running towards the money we are running behind the money we are in a rat race of acquiring the money recently we had a convocation in our institute where Honorable President of India 
respected madam shrimati dropdi murmu ji was there and addressing the convocation she said doctor paise ke piche na jaye डॉक्टर सेवा करे हमारे देश में विविधता बहुत है अनेकता बहुत है सभी तरह के समाज का सेवा करे उनकी लाइनों को फर्दर इलेबोरेट करते हुए एज यू पीपल ऑल नो द डिफरेंसेस ऑफ एजुकेशन differences of economy money the differences of this our in cultures social behaviors even in our genders rural urban or be it a geographic area you find the people who are not getting the adequate cares and the gap when we see between the money between the rich and the poor the gap is increasing day by day so where are we heading we are heading towards the major gaps in the health care because money is required to have a good health in this country as on today we the charitable institutes we the government institutes are putting lot of efforts still a poor people who is residing in remote areas a poor people who is from a very low background the poor people who doesn't acquire the education the poor people who doesn't have any money some people even grab their all essentials in a small bag and keep them on their head and move from their place and if anybody becomes ill in their country in oh sorry in their house these people do not have a penny and the people of the lower other lower groups who have some land some house or something sometimes they sell their house to get the treatment of their family members it is becoming very costly so only i request to all of my graduates ki today you give one minute to yourself aap chintan kariye ek minute baith ke is desh ne mujhe sab kuch diya hai इस सोसाइटी ने मुझे बहुत कुछ दिया है तो मेरा क्या फर्ज बनता है इस कंट्री के लिए इस सोसाइटी के लिए जो शब्द हमारे ऑनरेबल प्रेसिडेंट ऑफ इंडिया ने बोले उस पर गौर कीजिएगा अपना एटीट्यूड नॉलेज स्किल डेवलपमेंट उसको डे बाय डे इंप्रूव कीजिए you will become an asset to this country be a human first and then the doctor always be humane humility should be your principle and if you take these things you will always be satisfied in your life otherwise in this competitive world there is no way to end every time we keep on running from one pillar to the other from one post to the other so my dear friends all the parents teachers ladies and gents these young bloods who are our energy we should always give them boost that their morale should be high to serve the society thank you very much thanks a lot thank you very much thank you sir Thank you sir for motivating and enlightening the minds of our students. I now invite the president of Adambulla Charitable Institutions and the bishop of Manglu Diocese most reverend Dr Peter Paul Sildana to deliver the presidential address. respected director father richard quelio 
the chief guest of the day dr a v s ramesh chandra ifs the guest of honor dr subhash giri the administrators members of the governing board the faculty the staff students parents well wishers all of you i greet you with the warmest greetings of the day at the outset i congratulate all the graduates who have come to this level and have left a mark in the history of this institute and their own personal history and it will remain because 2024 is the patch that you are going out and sure you will remember this day a very special day for you and for all of us on this day uh, other activity has stopped to focus on the achievement of our students father mulla the charitable institutions the premier institutions rejoice because of our alumni and alumne who have jumped over many hurdles to share the joy of victory the institutes like father mulla medical college allied health sciences the physiotherapy and the speech and hearing colleges today showcase their hard labor of these past years when our students came into the portals of this institute they came with great expectations today their dreams are fulfilled and they are ready to launch into the real world with the skill in their hand with knowledge in their minds and with determination in their hearts our students are our standard bearers they are our invaluable treasure and i thank you students i congratulate you for choosing father mullers as your training ground congratulations dear students what has the institute given to you you alone can testify and narrate you are also witnesses what you have given to the institutions because every lecturer every professor management grows because of your presence and because of your questions and because of the challenges that you pose to the present day uh, teaching faculty therefore every question that you pose every challenge you put forward becomes a triggering point for further research i'm sure you have done a lot that way to train your own faculty as they were training you this mutual training takes place every day for the staff and the students for the patients and for their bystanders their attenders this house has become a house of hope this is a home of relief of suffering every possible effort is done to bring relief to the suffering humanity as they get into it the main gate i'm sure they come with great desire i'll be all right now because there are good doctors here good nurses here and there's good medical care they come with hope and as they come in if you inject together with the medicine some more hope in their hearts in their spirits they will really grow joyful and healthier earlier so this is our task to inject hope into the hearts of the patients who come to us with great expectation and they entrust themselves into our hands our young doctors and all those who are trained here will go out with the echo of the motto ringing incessantly in the heart heal and comfort heal and comfort as the heart beats i'm sure these two words with a and copial that will connect all the beats of your heart and it will vibrate with the heart beat of your patients let it continuously vibrate for one another 
On the side of the management, we have decided to give the best possible remedies with affordable cost. Year after year, new machinery is procured for diagnosis and adequate therapies are designed and administered. This year, the people have availed a lot of concessions from the hospital. A uh, hospital as it began with the original dream of Father Mullah is a hospital for the poor. And I was told by Father Richard that to the tune of 70 crores of rupees have been dispersed this current year, which would mean it's a huge amount of outreach. <laughs> Kankanadi means health and healing. Kankanadi means hope and great joy in the heart, the desire for living. Dear graduates, carry the flame of love and compassion wherever you go. Go tell everyone what the Lord has done. Jesus said once to a person he healed and said, go and tell everyone what God has done. You also go and tell everyone what the Lord has done in your life. God has been walking with you in your struggles. It has not been an easy journey, I'm sure, every day. I remember in the early years when I was serving in a parish, one doctor, young doctor, he failed several times. He had a tough time. He showed me all the bones that he has collected for his uh, uh, studies and failing one after another attempt. But he said, no, I must do it. I must do it. And someone putting in a little hope, he managed it. It is accompaniment. It is strengthening the other. And I'm sure the parents have done it. Our parents are really precious to us. Our parents, dear parents, I thank you for choosing Father Muller's and I thank you for trusting us and entrusting your children into our care. God bless you. And these children will be growing higher, faster and stronger as the motto of Olympics says. They will certainly give you great joy and bring great light into your families. I wish you all the best, graduates today and the faculty here and everyone present here. Thank you. God bless you. Thank you, Your Excellency, for your words of blessing. Dear students, today is a milestone in your lives, a reminder of how you have grown as a doctor, a physiotherapist, an allied health personnel, and a human. It signifies an ending, but also a beginning. It's a portal leading you through the warm memories of the past, onwards to big dreams for your future. Today, we honor the graduates of Father Muller Charitable Institution and bestow upon them these prestigious degrees, hoping and wishing they use their education as their most powerful tool as they leave their alma mater to venture out into the world. I request the audience to kindly refrain from leaving your seats and approaching the dais to take pictures of your awards as it may hinder the smooth proceeding of the solemn occasion. An official photographer has been appointed to capture the profiles of each of your awards. Also, live streaming of the ceremony will be available on the institutional website. Ladies and gentlemen, we shall now commence the graduation ceremony where we honor our graduates and bestow the degrees that they have secured through their hard work and perseverance. We begin the graduation ceremony with the Father Muller College of Allied Health Sciences. I now call upon Dr. Hilda de Souza, Principal, Father Muller College of Allied Health Sciences, to present the graduates of BSc Medical Laboratory Technology, BSc Medical Imaging Technology, BSc Anesthesia Technology, BSc Operation Theater, Theater Technology, BSc Anesthesia and Operation Theater Technology, BSc Renal Dialysis Technician, and BSc Radiotherapy Courses and administer the oath of an allied health professional to them. I request our chief guest and the guest of honor to present the certificates to the graduates. Respected dignitaries on the days of the days, ladies and gentlemen, I am pleased to present before you graduates of our college. Firstly, BSc Medical Laboratory course. Ms. Angel G. Vita de Souza, Ms. Anu Jihan PM. Ms. Aisha Amrin, Ms. Chaitanya Nayak. Ms. 
Ms. Delicia Genevieve Lobo, Mr. Nazareth Melroy Francis, Ms. Nia Chinno Kuryakos, Mr. Nidesh Kumar, Ms. Nidia Cyril Jagdish Fernandez, Ms. Priya S. Ms. Priya S. Ms. Sabahat Sheikh. Ms. Saumya Jos, Ms. Tina Jasmine Disoza. Ms. Tirsa Jensita James, Mr. Vinayak Bajantri. Ms. Vinet Javisha Disoza. B.Sc. Medical Imaging Technology, Ms. Celia Lisa Lobo, Ms. Devu Syam, Mr. James Thomas, Ms. Lijina Tankachan, Ms. Lili Reshma Ekka, Ms. Namita Maria Anil, Mr. Nisal Nison, Mr. Nikhil Babu, Ms. Nimmi Kurian, Ms. Pagadala Geeta, Ms. Prishal Disoza, Mr. Prithvisha GM, Mr. Rakshit, Ms. Silo George, Mr. Thomas Sebastian, Mr. Wilson Joel Coelho, BSc Radiotherapy Technology, Ms. Annette Sara Manoj, Mr. Brannett Joseph Fernandez, Ms. Fatima Raiza, Ms. Javel Dimello. Ms. Melissa Rose, Mr. Shine Shaji, Mr. Elchuri Tarun Kumar, BSc Anesthesia Technology, Mr. Doyle Anto Ignatius, BSc Operation Theatre Technology, Ms. Archana V, BSc Anesthesia and Operating Theatre Technology, Ms. Ajnu Sharif, Ms. Anaga A.S. Ms. Ann Maria Joseph, Ms. Ann Maria Sebi. Ms. Asiya Hina K.H., Ms. Aisha Sama. Ms. Esther Shiba J. Ms. Gopika K.V. Ms. Kirti S.P. Mr. Mohamad Sabas T.P. Niranjana Kannan P.V. Ms. Nishana M.S. Ms. Parvati Sajivan. Ms. Prinoska Perpetual Barato. Ms. Ramzin, Ms. Reshma Vishwanathan, Ms. Getshia Alice Rani, Renal Dialysis Technology, Mr. Jarin Joy, Mr. Vishnu Ovi, Kindly rise. Please extend your right arm forward and repeat after me. I, 
solemnly pledge myself before God to practice my profession with dedication and professional competence. I will consider the welfare of my patient and respect all life, human dignity and rights in the practice of my profession. I promise to abide by the laws governing my profession, follow safe work practices and ensure patient safety at all times. Please lower your arm, turn the tassel from left to right. Congratulations. Thank you. Thank you, sirs. Thank you, ma'am and the graduates. I now call upon Professor Charisma De Silva, Principal, Father Muller College of Physiotherapy, to present the graduates of Bachelor of Physiotherapy and administer the oath of a physiotherapist. I request our chief guest and the guest of honor to present the certificates to the graduates. A very good evening to dignitaries on the dais, of the dais, dear graduates, proud parents, all the faculties. I'm here to present before you the graduates of Bachelors in Physiotherapy from the Father Muller College of Physiotherapy. Mr. Abel Thomas Jacob, Ms. Ajina Reggie. Mr. Ajit Pereira, Ms. Alina Peter Phillip. Mr. Alex Raju, Ms. Anthony Lutz. Ms. Ashley Joji, Ms. Bella Maria Vinci. Ms. Bridita, Brigitta Jacob, Ms. Kastin Alicia Kevin. Ms. Jamella Ria, Ms. Dia Mary Raji. Ms. Dia Matthew, Ms. Eden Naomi Rosario. Ms. Gagana, Mr. Hassan Musamilji. Ms. Lakwin Rowena de Souza, Ms. Mahima and Matthew. Ms. Malavika P.S., Ms. Malavika S. Nair. Ms. Maria Scholl de Souza, Ms. Milna A.S. Ms. Molly Pinto, Ms. Navina A.J. Ms. Neetu Gopinath, Ms. Neha and Daniel. Ms. Neva Matthew, Ms. Pratvi Renal Almeida. Ms. Reenu Ranjan, Mr. Saldana Lance Rocky. Mr. Sampras de Souza, Ms. Sandra Maria Basil. Ms. Seema Nayak, Ms. Sarau Asnit Gerald. Ms. Shana Ashil de Souza, Ms. Shreya Noronna. Ms. Shri Padma Jain, Ms. Silvita Naslin Prasta. Ms. Sonora Janis Koda, Ms. Smriti Sudhir Kulal. Ms. 
Ms. Neha Grace Varki, Ms. Telvin Alicia D. Almeida. Ms. Sweetie De Souza, Ms. Manchita Nandakumar. Ms. Tinu Tangachin. I request you all to kindly rise. And stretch your right hand. And repeat after me the oath of a physiotherapist. I shall in thought, word and deed be ever honest in the discharge of my duties and uphold the dignity and integrity of my profession and the honor and the name of my university and my alma mater. I pledge to uphold and advance social order and the well-being of my fellow members and shall devote all my energy to promote the unity, integrity, and secular ideal of my country. I swear to sincerely endeavor to serve the afflicted, sick and ailing patients under my care and all those who need my services to the best of my ability, without any consideration of caste, creed, or status. Kindly lower your arms. As a symbol of completion of your degree, please take this moment to celebrate your well-earned achievement by turning your tassel from left to right. Your hard work and dedication has finally paid off, dear students. Hardy, congratulations on your graduation. Thank you. Thank you, sirs. Thank you, ma'am and the graduates. I now invite Dr. Anthony Sylvan de Souza, Dean, Fadamulla Medical College, to present the graduates of MBBS and to administer the oath of a physician to the graduates. I request our chief guest and guest of honor to present the certificates to the medical graduates. Dignitaries, on the days and off the days, warm greetings. Dr. Errol Alicia Montero, Dr. Aaron San D'Souza. Dr. Aaron Denzil Lobo, Dr. Abhishek Shivhare. Dr. Adarsh Govindraj, Dr. Ahana. Dr. Aishwarya Prakash Kani, Dr. Akil Kurian John. Dr. Alan Ryan Lobo, Dr. Alicia Hayden Pinto, Dr. Alan John Jason, Dr. Alan Rovian Pinto, Dr. Amal Thomas, Dr. Amit G. J. Kuruvitatam. Dr. Amrit Smirk, Dr. Amrita Nanda Kumar, Dr. Ansi Neha, Dr. 
एंजल बोबन डॉक्टर एन जेम्स डॉक्टर एंटनी क्रिस्टोफर डॉक्टर आरती डॉक्टर एतिना मेरियम थॉमस डॉक्टर एविन जिप्सन पीटर डॉक्टर आयुष्मान सिंह डॉक्टर भरत नामा डॉक्टर नमीरा फातिमा डॉक्टर चैतन्य के एस डॉक्टर चंदना प्रिया डॉक्टर डीना मेरी एडवर्ड डॉक्टर दीप्ति नतालिया फुटाडो डॉक्टर डेलिया तंगम साजन डॉक्टर देविका रविंद्रन डॉक्टर दिनेश कुमार डॉक्टर एडविन जोस डॉक्टर गगन डोट्रैड डॉक्टर जियो रॉय डॉक्टर जॉर्ज जो मैथ्यू डॉक्टर ग्रीशल संजना क्वाड्रस डॉक्टर ग्रीष्मा श्याम डॉक्टर गुम्माडी लालित्य सुप्रिया डॉक्टर हरित जी ऐता डॉक्टर हर्षित बजाज डॉक्टर ऋतिका वी डॉक्टर इनामुद्दीन डॉक्टर जेफ्री जेस डॉक्टर जेनिफर ए डॉक्टर जेरी बाबू डॉक्टर जेसिका लिली डिसोजा डॉक्टर जोकुंडा मारिया गोमेंडिस डॉक्टर जॉन वेटतू डॉक्टर जॉयल जॉन्स एंड डॉक्टर जूडी वी बेनी डॉक्टर के पी अरुण प्रतिज्ञा डॉक्टर विशा नंबिया डॉक्टर काम्या सिंह डॉक्टर केविन मिनेजस डॉक्टर केविन राजू डॉक्टर किरण कुमार मत डॉक्टर कृतिका के एच डॉक्टर लविका लीशा ओलिवेरा डॉक्टर लीहान अशोक एडविन रेबेलो डॉक्टर एम शारन रोस डॉक्टर मानसा कारंत डॉक्टर मानव डक्कन डॉक्टर मरिया विंसी एंटनी डॉक्टर मराया मेरियम ईपन डॉक्टर मेगन सारा डिसोजा डॉक्टर मेलिशा गिसेल डिसोजा डॉक्टर मेरलिन जॉर्ज डॉक्टर मोहसिन अहसान आली लोहवाला डॉक्टर मोनिका कारंत डॉक्टर मोनीश कुमार
डॉक्टर नम्रता शेखर डॉक्टर नतेश देरकाजे डॉक्टर नावेद अहमद डॉक्टर नेहा अनु जेम्स डॉक्टर नेहल जॉय डॉक्टर नील रसिल डिसोजा डॉक्टर निखिल गोडेमी डॉक्टर पेट्रीशिया डॉली डॉक्टर प्रज्वल पिनेहास डॉक्टर प्रशांत पी डॉक्टर प्रतीक्षा प्रभु डॉक्टर प्रत्युष गौड़ा डॉक्टर प्रत्युषी एम आर डॉक्टर प्रवीण डॉक्टर प्रेरणा दास डॉक्टर प्रियंका ए डॉक्टर आर शशांक रेड्डी डॉक्टर रेशल मेरियन अलबुकेर डॉक्टर राघव एस डॉक्टर रघुनंदन उदिहाल डॉक्टर राहुल चवान डॉक्टर रतिक डॉक्टर रवि किरण डॉक्टर रेयन डेक्सटन नरोना डॉक्टर रिचर्ड मेलरॉय डॉक्टर रिफा रहमान डॉक्टर रितेश डायस डॉक्टर रोशनी जोसेफिन सिक्वेरा डॉक्टर रायन एस गिलबर्ट डॉक्टर सागर डॉक्टर समृद्धि एम एस डॉक्टर सम्यक जैन डॉक्टर सैंड्रा पॉल डॉक्टर सैंड्रिया एंड डिसोजा डॉक्टर सैंड्रिला लोबो डॉक्टर संतोष चंद्रशेखर डॉक्टर शमा के डॉक्टर शरण सूजन शाजन डॉक्टर साजिया बानू डॉक्टर शियोन फिलिप डॉक्टर शिवानी अजय डॉक्टर श्रद्धा डॉक्टर श्राव्य डॉक्टर श्रव्यच डॉक्टर श्रीनिधि डॉक्टर श्रेया जगदीश आचार्य डॉक्टर श्रीनिधि हूविनहे डॉक्टर श्रिया जी अग्रवाल डॉक्टर श्रद्धा कामत डॉक्टर सिद्धार्थ एम सी डॉक्टर स्नेहा एलिस जेकब डॉक्टर सोना पोली डॉक्टर सोनू आर डॉक्टर सुधीर कुमार डॉक्टर सुकृति बट डॉक्टर सुमा मैथ्यू
ಡಾಕ್ಟರ್ ಸುಶ್ಮಿತಾ ಸಿಂಗ್ ಡಾಕ್ಟರ್ ಸುಶ್ರಾವ್ಯ ಡಾಕ್ಟರ್ ಸೈಯದ್ ರೋಷನ್ ಡಾಕ್ಟರ್ ತನ್ಜೀರಾ ಫರ್ವೀನ್ ಡಾಕ್ಟರ್ ತುಷಾರ ಕಿರಣ್ ಡಾಕ್ಟರ್ ಟೀನಾ ಸೂಸನ್ ಪಾಲ್ ಡಾಕ್ಟರ್ ಉಜ್ವಲ್ ಪಿಂಟೋ ಡಾಕ್ಟರ್ ವೈಷ್ಣವಿ ಶ್ಯಾಮ್ ಡಾಕ್ಟರ್ ವಂಶ್ ರೇಲಾನ್ ಡಾಕ್ಟರ್ ವಿದ್ಯಾ ಎಸ್ ಶಿಂದೆ ಡಾಕ್ಟರ್ ವಿಂಧ್ಯಾ ಕೆ ಎಸ್ ಡಾಕ್ಟರ್ ವಿನಿತಾ ವಿನಿತ್ ವಿನಿತ ಕೆ ಬಿ ಡಾಕ್ಟರ್ ವಿನೋದ್ ಎಂ ನರಗುಣ್ ಡಾಕ್ಟರ್ ವಿಶಾಲ್ ದಾರ್ಸಿ ಡಾಕ್ಟರ್ ವಾರ್ದ ರಶೀದ್ ಡಾಕ್ಟರ್ ಯಾಶಿಕ ಬನ್ಸಾಲ್ ಡಾಕ್ಟರ್ ಜಿಯಾನ್ ಮಹಿಮಾ ಸಿರಿ ಡಾಕ್ಟರ್ ಜೊಹರಾ ಮಜ್ನ ಡಾಕ್ಟರ್ ಜೋರಾ ಶಿಮಾ ಎಂ ಬಿ ಬಿ ಎಸ್ ಡಾಕ್ಟರ್ಸ್ ಕೈಂಡ್ಲಿ ರೈಸ್ kindly stretch your right arm forwards and repeat after me oath of physician i solemnly pledge myself to consecrate my life to the service of humanity even under threat i will not use my medical knowledge contrary to the laws of humanity i will maintain the utmost respect for human life from the time of conception i will not permit considerations of religion nationality race party politics or social standing to intervene between my duty and my patient i will practice my profession with conscience and dignity the health of my patient will be my first consideration i will respect the secrets which are confided in me i will give to my teachers the respect and gratitude which is their due i will maintain by all means in my power the honor honor and noble traditions of medical profession i will treat my colleagues with all respect and dignity i shall abide by the code of medical ethics as enunciated by the national medical commission i make these promises solemnly freely and upon my honor kindly lower your arm turn the tassels from left to right hearty congratulations and all the very best
Thank you, sirs and graduates. I now request Dr. Sweeta Dikunna, Professor and Course Coordinator, Master in Hospital Administration, to present the postgraduates of MSc Medical Laboratory Technology, Masters in Hospital Administration, and Masters in Physiotherapy courses. I request the Chief Guest and the Guest of Honor to present the certificates to the graduates. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. I'm pleased to announce the pros graduates of Medical Lab Technology, Hospital Administration, and Physiotherapy. So to begin with the MSc MLT postgraduates, Ms. Fatima M.A. Jocelyn Harriet D. Almeida. Karishma Bangera Lekna. Meeda Parichand Ranjit DJ. Ranjita V. Sindhu. T.G. Biju Yoganand Masters in Hospital Administration Ajit Disoza, Anusha Disoza, Arya Asha Thomas Chris Joan Diana Pearl de Souza Dikshita Rani Devika Drishal de Souza Flavian Joy de Souza Glaina de Souza, Juvita de Souza, Kripa Esther, Leandra Dale Menezes, Lolita Mercy Monis, Manuel Cutino. Pratiba N.M. Princita Joslina Lobo. Renisha Disoza Cheryl Melisha Vaz. Shibi George Shivani Bangera. Shreya Butt Sneha Stanley Sneha De Souza Sonali Rodriguez Vanisha Mary Miranda Masters in Physiotherapy Barreto Jean Jane Iron Melanie Pinto, Jasim Junaid, Sharanya, Shade Gauri Prabhakar, Swati Upadhya.
Vasudha and Vidisha Pai. Hearty congratulations, dear postgraduates. Okay, one second. Kezia Pinto. Thank you, sirs. Thank you, ma'am, and the graduates. I now request Dr. Venkatesh B.M. Vice Dean, Padamula Medical College, to present the postgraduates of PG Medical Degree and MCH Urology. I request our Chief Guest and Guest of Honor to present the certificates. Respected dignitaries on the dais, off the dais, ladies and gentlemen, I feel proud to announce the names of postgraduates, graduates. Dr. Akshay K., Dr. Annabelle Josh. Dr. Navya Anna Paul, Dr. Chandan N. Dr. Priya Anusha Disoza, Dr. Chelsea Sarai Miranda. Dr. Mahima Kandige, Dr. Maurice Ashin. Dr. Shilpa A. Dr. Niranjan Murthy. Dr. Suvida D. Kamat. Dr. Nitin Koshi Philip. Dr. Adarsh Surendran. Dr. Prajwal Pai. Dr. Ann Matthew Matthew, Dr. Renier Borges, Dr. Anusha Antine Lihe Dias, Dr. Venkatraman Satish Joshi, Dr. Balasani Nagesh, Dr. Abhay M. Philip. Dr. Jessica Abraham, Dr. Chetna Harish Mulya, Dr. Divya Baju Parampat, Dr. Sujan N, Dr. Melita Ethel De Silva, Dr. Pallavi S. Dr. Clinton Castellino, Dr. Sanjana P. Arjun, Dr. P. Vaishali, Dr. Shivaraj S. Manyagyal, Dr. Shivaraj, Sanjana Arjun Vaishnavi. Dr. Steve Raj, Dr. Rojina Anna Ray, Dr. Sudharaka H, Dr. Sanjana Anna Abram. Dr. Jishi Joy, Dr. Thanu Kiran K. Dr. Tejaswini, Dr. Mega Anaya.
डॉक्टर कन्या निर्मल डॉक्टर मिनी मथाय डॉक्टर नेहा कैरेन फर्नांडिस डॉक्टर अलमा स्वाति डिसोजा डॉक्टर वर्षा सीवी डॉक्टर आयशा अब्ना डॉक्टर चेतना सुल्तानपुरी डॉक्टर जॉर्जिना जॉर्ज डॉक्टर जॉर्जिना जॉर्ज डॉक्टर जेसन ग्लेन डिसोजा सॉरी डॉक्टर लियो वर्गीस डॉक्टर मालती बट डॉक्टर वेनिसा फर्नांडिस डॉक्टर रिया सुजान जॉन डॉक्टर रूबी क्रिस्टी डॉक्टर चार्ल्स पॉल डॉक्टर समंता वलानी नजरत डॉक्टर सुष्मिता के थॉमस डॉक्टर श्रेया अडवालनाथ डॉक्टर जाल्फा अब्दुल अजीज डॉक्टर अमंदा लविटा लोबो डॉक्टर स्वाति यूके डॉक्टर अंकिता शिबु रॉबर्ट डॉक्टर अनुषा रॉनविल सराव डॉक्टर लेस्टर फ्रैंक डॉक्टर एलिशा मेरी फर्टाडो डॉक्टर सौम्या के एस डॉक्टर मरिया सुष्मिता डॉक्टर उज्ज्वल यु सुवर्ण डॉक्टर रीना वी के डॉक्टर विलबर लियांडर कुटीना डॉक्टर शारन जोसेफ एम सी एच यूरोजी डॉक्टर निपुन बांसल congratulation to all the post graduates thank you sirs thank you graduates ladies and gentlemen we have with us 392 graduates and their unforgettable moment in the limelight join us in congratulating the fresh graduates by giving a hearty round of applause to all of them and to all the proud parents as well thank you as a mark of loyalty and reverence for the nurturing qualities the institution has imbued in the graduates thus far which in turn has made this day possible i request everyone to rise in respect for the institutional anthem
seated on behalf of graduates of mbbs allied health sciences and physiotherapy dr ragunandan nodial shall deliver the response to the graduation address as an expression of the graduates senti sentiments and gratitude respected dignitaries on and off the dais faculty members proud parents and dear graduates i ragunandan mbbs batch of 2018 with great honor stand before you to deliver a response on behalf of all my peer graduates of mbbs physiotherapy and allied health sciences present on this day first and foremost i want to express my heartfelt congratulations to each and every one of you we have worked tirelessly overcoming obstacles late nights and countless challenges to reach this pivotal moment today we celebrate not only our academic achievements but also resilience determination and perseverance that have brought us here i fondly recall on inaugural day where our eager eyes envisioned the glorious years ahead the anatomy dissection hall the memories of gently pricking our fingers in the physiology lab and the biochemistry lab are unforgettable little did we know that we would be tested in a ways we could never have imagined the covid-19 pandemic swept across the globe disrupting our life altering the plans and challenging our resilience our regular classes have transformed to online presenting us a new learning experience i'm grateful to all the professors and management for unwavering support during these challenging times as we entered our clinical year we gained invaluable clinical knowledge through our interactions with patients they have served as our teacher helping us enhance our skills on this occasion i would likely to express my heartfelt gratitude to all the patients who have contributed to our learning journey i extend my sincere gratitude to bishop of mangalore diocese most reverend dr peter paul saldana president of father mother charitable institution for his invaluable guidance and support to the institution i want to express my appreciation to our director reverend father richard aloysius coelho our dedicated administrator reverend father ajit b menezes and dean dr anthony selvin de souza for their tireless effort thank you sir i extend my sincere thanks to all the priests our professors staffs and nurses and our friends for their instrumental role in shaping us in who we are today It's essential to take a moment to express our deepest gratitude to all those who have been our unwavering pillars of support throughout this journey. To our beloved parents, words seem insufficient to convey the depth of appreciation for everything you have done. From the very beginning, you believed in us, nurturing our dreams and aspirations with boundless love and encouragement. You have sacrificed so much to provide us with the opportunities and resources needed to pursue our education. Thank you. for believing in us for cheering on us for being our constant source of strength we dedicate this milestone to you with heartfelt love love and gratitude the field of medicine holds a special role in society as healers and caregivers we will have the privilege and responsibility of touching life elevating suffering and promoting health and well-being as we embark on this new chapter remember the values that has guided us so far 
compassion, integrity, empathy, and commitment to lifelong learning. These virtues will serve as a compass to navigate our complexities in the medical profession. In closing, I urge our graduates to embrace the opportunities that lie ahead with courage and enthusiasm. Remember, the journey of 1,000 miles begins with a single step, and today marks the beginning of a remarkable journey filled with endless possibilities. Congratulations, my friends. May your future brighter, may your aspirations lofty, and your impact profound. Thank you, and have a delightful evening. Thank you, Dr. Raghunandan, for reminiscing about your years spent in this institution and for expressing your gratitude towards your alma mater. Ladies and gentlemen, it is now time to honor the meritorious graduates for their outstanding performance in academics and other fields. I invite Dr. Jacinta Martis, Professor and Head, Department of Dermatology, Father Muller Medical College, to list the names of their bodies. I request our guest of honor to award the meritorious students. Respected dignitaries on the days, of the days, ladies and gentlemen, I am happy to announce the academic prizes of the various colleges under Father Muller Charitable Institutions who have brought glory to our institution. Father Muller Medical College, Final MBBS Part 2 examinations held in February 2023, Reverend Dr. Lawrence C. De Souza Prize for overall highest marks awarded to Dr. Arati. Late Srimati and Sri M. Ramana Alva Prize, sponsored by Dr. J.P. Alva in memory of his parents for highest marks in medicine awarded to Dr. Chandana Priya. <laughs> Professor B. Sanjeev Rai Prize for highest marks in pediatrics goes to Dr. Ariel Alisha Montero. Late Professor S. Raghunath Shetty Prize for highest marks in surgery, including orthopedics, awarded to Dr. Sandria and Disosa. <music> Professor Bharati B. Baliga Prize for highest marks in obstetrics and gynecology is awarded to Dr. Moisin Hassan Ali Lohawala. Father Muller College of Allied Health Sciences, highest marks in final B.Sc. Medical Lab Technology University Examination held in November 2023, awarded to Ms. Tina Jasmine De Souza. <music> highest marks in final B.Sc. Medical Imaging Technology University Examination held in November 2023, awarded to Mr. Wilson Joel Coelho. Highest marks secured in final year B.Sc. Radiotherapy Technology University Examination held in November 2023 awarded to Ms. Jewel Dumello. Highest marks in B.Sc. Anesthesia and Operation Theatre Technology University Examination held in November 2023 awarded to Ms. Reshma Vishwanathan. Prize sponsored by Mr. Wilson Desa in memory of late Salvador Desa Kalyanpur for securing highest aggregate marks in third and fourth semester masters in hospital administration, university examination held in May 2023 and November 2023 awarded to Ms. Dishal Floyni De Souza. Highest marks secured in final year MSc Medical Lab Technology, university examination held in November 2023 awarded to Ms. Karishma K. Bangera. Father Muller College of Physiotherapy, late for the Lawrence V. M. Fernandez Memorial Prize for securing highest marks overall in Bachelor of Physiotherapy, for the Ignatius de Souza Award for securing highest marks in physiotherapy subjects, and highest marks secured in final year BPT, University Examination held in November 2023, is awarded to Ms. Alina Peter Philip.
highest mark secured in final year master of physiotherapy university examination held in november 2023 awarded to miss vidisha pai b the following students have secured overall ranks in the university examination held in by the rajiv gandhi university of health sciences bengaluru mch urology university examination held in 2023 dr nipun bansal first rank he has been awarded gold medal by rajiv gandhi university of health sciences bengaluru during the 26th convocation held on 27th february 2024 for completing course in minimum possible duration and securing highest marks in mcs urology pg medical degree in university examination held in 2023 md microbiology dr sharan joseph third rank md psychiatry dr p vaishali fifth rank md dermatology venerology and leprosy dr suvida d kamath fifth rank md pathology dr maria sushmita l sixth rank ms orthopedics dr ujwal u swarna seventh rank md pathology dr anush ronvil serao 9th rank md radio diagnosis dr venisa fernandes 9th rank md radio diagnosis dr maluti s but 10th rank Mr. Vaibhav Shet, MBBS student of our college, has represented Rajiv Gandhi University of Health Sciences, Karnataka, Bengaluru, in All India Inter University Aquatics Men and Women Tournament 2023-24. Postgraduate Allied Courses, Master in Hospital Administration, Ms. Dikshita Rani, first rank. Dishal Floyne Disosa, 8th rank. Miss Devika PM, 9th rank. MSc Medical Laboratory Technology, Miss Karishma K. Bangera, 1st rank. third rank Miss Jocelyn Harriet D Almeida 8th rank Mr Ranjit DJ 4th rank Ranjita V 5th rank Miss Lekhana 7th rank Miss DG M Biju 1st rank Medha Pedin Charat 
third rank mr yoganand fourth rank undergraduate allied courses bsc medical imaging technology miss anupama roy first rank master in physiotherapy course mpt cardiovascular and pulmonary sciences miss vidisha pai b sixth rank cardiovascular and pulmonary sciences miss shet ulerkar gauri prabhakar 10th rank congratulations to all the awardees thank you thank you sir thank you ma'am congratulations to all the winners may you aspire to achieve lofty goals dear graduates Your hard work and discipline will finally be rewarded. I invite Reverend Father Ajit B. Menezes, our administrator, to announce the names of pupils receiving Academic Excellence Awards, the best outgoing students, and the recipient of President's Gold Medal to acknowledge their accomplishment. I request Most Reverend Dr. Peter Paul Saldana, Bishop of Manglo Diocese, to honor the awardees. best dissertation award for the medical post graduate instituted by dr b sanjeev rai for the year 2023 awarded to dr ishwar gowda department of orthopedics he is absent today but we congratulate him and also dr sanjeev rai for sponsoring this award silver medal for the best outgoing post graduate student award 2023 in the department of general medicine sponsored by dr venkatesh bm in memory of his parents late patel bt manjappa gowda and late shrimati chinnamma goes to venkatraman satish joshi i request dr venkatesh also with the sponsor this to join the dignitaries to the awarding the silver medal for the best outgoing post graduate student award 2023 in the department of pediatrics sponsored by dr sabita ansari in memory of late dr sv ansari pediatrician kannur goes to shreya adalavat congratulations dr shreya we recognize the presence of dr sabita ansari here thank to thank you for sponsoring this award to father mulla charitable institution with a big round of applause dr shreya the best outgoing graduate award for the year 2023 the best outgoing allied health science graduate of the college reshma vishwanathan department of bsc atvot let us give a round of applause to reshma vishwanathan Chief guest 
डॉक्टर ए वी एस रमेश चंद्र वॉन्स मीन टू से इन दिस कैटेगरी मेजोरिटी और एवॉर्ड इज आर लेडीज सो ही वॉन्ट्स डेम टू गिव अ बिग राउंड ऑफ एप्लॉज थैंक यू डॉक्टर रमेश चंद्र फॉर रिमाइंडिंग मी दिस लेट जॉन लिनु वर्गीज मेमोरियल प्राइज फॉर द बेस्ट आउट गोइंग ग्रेजुएट ऑफ बैचलर ऑफ फिजियोथेरापी मिस अलीना पीटर फिलिप कंग्रेचुलेशन अलीना can come from the main stairs congratulations alena with a round of applause to you wishing you all the very best in the days to come now i request all the dignitaries on the days to join and here we are awaiting for the most prestigious moment padamala charitable institution president's gold medal for the best outgoing mbbs graduate for the year 2023 awarded to dr aral alisha montero she has been awarded gold medal by rajiv gandhi university of health sciences bangalore during 26 convocation held on 28th 27th february for passing out in final year in first attempt and completing the course in minimum possible duration and securing highest marks in the subject of ophthalmology part 1 mbbs congratulations dr aral excellency thank you sirs congratulations to all the winners you have indeed made yourselves your parents and the institution proud may you continue to excel and be inspired to achieve many more accolades along your professional journey we are privileged to have dr avs ramesh chandra ifs additional secretary ministry of external affairs as our chief guest thank you sir for accepting our invitation and gracing us with your presence today I request most reverend Dr Peter Paul Zuldana Bishop of Mangalore Diocese to facilitate felicitate our chief guest. We request you to accept this felicitation on behalf of Father Muller Charitable Institutions. also honored to have dr subhash giri director lady harding medical college as our guest of honor we are proud to have you with us on this solemn occasion sir i request most reverend dr peter paul seldana bishop of mangalore diocese to felicitate our guest of honor thank you your excellency thank you sir all good things must come to an end to deliver the vote of thanks I call upon Dr. Hilda De Souza, Principal, Father Muller College of Allied Health Sciences, to propose a vote of thanks. Your Lordship, Most Reverend Dr. Peter Paul Sundana, dignitaries on the days of the days, dear graduates, ladies and gentlemen. cordial greetings of the day to you all as we close this graduation ceremony of 
Our hearts are filled with joy and gratefulness to all things. On behalf of entire institution, it gives me great honor and immense pleasure to express sentiments of gratitude to all gathered here and contributed to the success of today's program. First and foremost, I thank God Almighty for his continuous and countless blessings on this mighty institution, especially for this day of celebration. Father Mullah Charitable Institutions, with its 144 long years of history, is a brand by itself, recognized globally for its achievement and service. It needs to be taken forward. All praises to God. Words are not enough to express gratitude to our president, Most Reverend Dr. Peter Paul Saldana. Under his leadership, Father Mullis has achieved exponential growth and has many success stories to tell. His humane, humble, yet practical ways of guiding and taking his flock in the Diocese of Mangalore is noteworthy. Thank you, dear Lordship, for your unfailing support to us and also gracing the occasion today. Our chief guest, Dr. A.V.S. Ramesh Chandra IFS, with his vast experience in India and abroad, has given us insightful message, especially to our outgoing graduates. Our young minds have a lot to learn from you, sir. Thank you, sir, for accepting our invitation and being a part of our celebration. We wish you good health and more power to execute many more duties. I'm pleased to acknowledge and appreciate the presence of our guest of honor, Dr. Subhash Giri, who is a perfect amalgamation in clinical medicine, teaching, research, and administration. Your placements in highly coveted posts in prestigious institutions all throughout only says your commitment and dedication in the work you do. Sir, you are a true inspiration to climb the ladder of success. We are profoundly grateful to you. Reverend Father Richard Aloysius Cuyolo, our director, is a true leader and the head of Mullerian family in the literal sense. During his tenure, institution has seen a sea of changes. No time is wasted in turning vision into action, be it the facilities for patients or students. Thank you, dear Father, for guiding us all throughout the year. On this solemn occasion, I also thank and appreciate the presence of Vika General, our former ad administrators, Reverend Fathers, sisters, members of governing board and centenary society, benefactors, the government officials, former dean and vice deans, invitees, guests, and our alumni for being part of this celebration. Your presence here gives us much needed support. Thank you. My sincere thanks to Reverend Father Ajit B. Menezes, administrator of all three colleges, and we all belong to one medical college earlier when it is split. He is administrator for three colleges and convener of graduation day program. Father, your meticulous planning, attention to details, guiding and training everyone involved has been your key to success during past few years. No one can match your energy nor enthusiasm. Thank you, dear father. I also wish to extend my sincere thanks to administrator of Father Muller Medical College Hospital, Reverend Father George Jeevan Sequera, Assistant Administrator Reverend Father Nelson Deeraj Pais for their active participation in organizing this event. My thanks to spiritual directors, Father George De Souza, Father Ronald Lobo, for their dedicated services round the clock for everyone in the camps, uh, campus. Thanks to Father Sylvester Vincent Lobo, Administrator Father Muller Hospital Tumbe, for being with us in everything we do in this campus. <clears throat> Just like it takes a village to raise a child, it takes an entire institution to groom professionals in healthcare system. Our indebtedness to dean, vice dean, principals, vice principals, 
chief of research medical superintendents chief nursing officer hods course coordinators teaching faculty hr manager office superintendent staff and faculty of our institutions your guidance has shaped the future of these graduates and has undoubtedly left an indelible mark on their lives thanks to you all parents of our graduates are beaming with pride and joy you have witnessed your sons and daughters graduating with a sense of satisfaction and jubilation thank you to your parents and guardians for trusting us and for being collaborators in our journey your sacrifice and love to your awards has made this day possible congratulations to you too a program of this magnitude cannot be organized by one it takes team effort thank you dear committee conveners coordinators and members for your dedication and untiring efforts to put up this show we remain grateful to you a special thanks to student volunteers and staff in charges you have done a great job in this era media plays a big role in our society we are thankful to our media friends both print and electronic for being there for us we acknowledge the efforts of technical physical security arrangement sound and light video and photography stage setting backdrop divine world for their live telecast police personnel in assisting us to organize this program special thanks to school of nursing band and the uh, guide who has trained them thank you <laughs> lastly superstars of today the graduates this is your day heartiest congratulations to you all as you embark on your professional journey may you uphold the values of compassion integrity and excellence instilled in father mullers during your time here our motto heal and comfort etched in your hearts may you mark meaningful contributions in healthcare touch the lives of countless individuals in society let the gratefulness to your alma mater resonate through your deeds of compassion best wishes to all of you for a bright future we hope to see you back here for your class reunions maybe after 10 20 25 or 50 years as teachers we feel proud to see your achievements and be a part of your life's journey please feel free to share with us i am actually looking forward for the reunion of first batch of mbbs in a couple of months i sincerely thank each and every one who has helped us directly or indirectly without mentioning names once again i thank all of you present here your prayers your presence and participation have given a glow to today's grand celebrations have a great evening thank you thank you ma'am we have now reached the end of the ceremony ladies and gentlemen let us show reverence to our nation by rising as we sing the national anthem
As a gesture of respect and gratitude, I request you all to remain standing as the dignitaries leave the hall. Thank you one and all. graduates are hereby instructed not to leave the convention center with the graduation gowns and caps as informed earlier please return the same within 30 minutes at the counters assigned for the purpose we have arranged selfie booths for all proud graduates to make and cherish today's memories kindly make use of them i request the invitees and guests to kindly proceed to molodyne for the refreshments Kindly show your coupons at the counters assigned for the same. Our volunteers will guide you. All is well that ends well. I, Dr. Savita. And I, Dr. Shreyas. Bid you farewell. Thank you for being such a wonderful audience. Have a nice day.